clearly. The United States and NATO, if they decide to enter a ground war with Russia, will lose, will lose badly, and it may end up with the complete destruction of Europe. Europeans need to sit down and count the cost. Is it worth it? Because Russia is not seeking to conquer Europe. Russia is seeking to have its national territory respected and to not have to face every year, as has been the case for the last 16 years, of NATO and the United States conducting military exercises on the borders of Russia that are, when you're sitting there as a Russian looking at it, you see these as hostile as intended to come after you. And given Russian's history, where they've been invaded from the West four times over the last 212 years, or 210 years, or 212 years, they're not sitting back ignoring that. They're taking it seriously. So uh, this is, these are continued provocations by the West. Uh, there is, is, there's no justification for it. The West keeps coming up with justification. They keep trying to portray Russia as this country trying to recreate its, quote, empire. And we've talked about this before in our previous discussions. Name me all of the colonies that Russia established in Africa. None. Hi. Italy, United Kingdom, Netherlands. They were the ones establishing colonies and exploiting the people in Africa. Same thing in Asia. You know, Vietnam was under the French control. And one of the reasons the United States initially got involved with Vietnam was more to try to help preserve French influence, not to free the people from communism. I mean, that, that was the lie, the big lie. So it's, uh, it, the, the U.S. is trying to use the same playbook, both with respect to China and to Russia, portraying them as these um, authoritarian societies hell-bent on conquering the world. And it's a lie. It's the West that has been involved with unrelenting wars over the last 70 years around the world, killing now over millions of people from countries such as Africa, Afghanistan, uh, I mean, in, in Africa and Somalia, uh, Afghanistan, Iraq, Syria, Libya. You know, it's got to stop. It really has to stop. And that's what came out of the Russians. They're saying it's going to stop. They're not, they're not going to sit back and be a punching bag. And with this feeble-minded president that, the, you know, that heads up the United States, it's quite clear for the world to see that the United States is being led by an incompetent. Uh, and that was, you know, today they had the plenary session of the International Economic Forum. Uh, Vladimir Putin was on stage along with the president of uh, Bolivia, I believe, and the president of Zimbabwe, the leader of Zimbabwe. That was sending a message. One, Russia wasn't favoring the most wealthy countries, the most influential countries. They weren't pandering to China or to India. They were bringing two sort of small countries from the global south, putting them on stage with President Putin, treating them as equals. That sends a message. Then the fact that Putin can sit there and talk and, and answer questions extemporaneously over a three hour plus period. Can you imagine Joe Biden? Joe Biden can't even handle a 10 minute speech written out for him. And uh, without falling asleep or wandering off in the wrong direction. So right there, the Russians are presenting for the world to see. This is Russia. This is the United States. Who do you want to follow? Who do you want to, who do you want to be partners with? And you're seeing